today's video is gonna be a one hour long power vinyasa, and let me tell you, it's gonna be tricky. But if you're new, I promise you can still get these things done. We're gonna go over poses that are deep in flexibility, like standing splits and full splits. We're also gonna have some fun with some arm balances and some strength building exercises. I'm really excited for this class. When you're ready, go ahead and meet me on your mat in child's pose. So as you're ready, bring the big toes to touch, knees as wide as the mat, and let's walk the hands forward. Palms shine down, bring the forehead to the mat if it's comfortable, and close the eyes. Once you've landed here on your mat, notice if this pose is holding you from anything. If there's any wiggles, if there's any itches, if there's anything that's holding you from being right here. Take these next couple seconds to take care of that. Once you're ready to begin your practice, I'm going to give you the space to let go of anything that you're holding on to. So we join here on our mats today, all for different reasons all with different abilities. Remember that right here in child's pose is a safe place. If at any time you need to just come down to your mat. Remember that this is a no judgment zone. To be proud of yourself for every little step that you take on your mat today. Begin to bring awareness into your breath as you start to listen to that beautiful rhythm that flows all on its own. As you start to cultivate your ujjayi breath, in Sanskrit this word means victorious, as we'll use this victorious breath throughout our class. This breath work is done just through the nose. Lips will stay sealed for the remainder of class. The same muscles in the back of your throat that you use to swallow. Go ahead and constrict them just a little bit so that your breath becomes audible. Sometimes the sound can resemble that of waves on an ocean. So I encourage you to keep this breath throughout our class. Keeping the eyes closed, keeping the heart and the head low, begin to slide forward on your mat, coming into heart to earth pose. The hips are gonna lift off the heels and reach high. The chest is gonna come down to the ground. Nice opening up sensation through the front side of the body. And then gently drag yourself back to child's pose. Once you're back in child's pose, slowly come up, rise into a seat. Bring the inner thighs to touch, come into hero's pose, blink open the eyes. Draw hands to heart center, interlace all 10 fingertips and shine the palms up towards the sky. Squeeze your biceps to your ears. Take a big breath in as you push through the palms. And exhale, let the palms reach over to the right, stretch to the left side of the body. Perhaps gaze up under the left arm. And inhale, lift back to center, full breath in. And full breath out, take it to the left side. Full breath in, come back to center. Go ahead and release interlaced fingers. Bring the hands to the top of your mat, coming into all fours pose. Lining up the shoulders over the wrists and the hips over the knees. If you need to take a moment and tap out the tops of the feet, go ahead and do so. In your all fours, begin to take a barrel roll shape. So it's kind of merging the shape of cat and the shape of cow. Take as big of circles as you can here with the torso as you feel the shoulders and the hips create that same rocking sensation, stretching out all the muscles 
throughout the core, all the muscles throughout the back. Taking it as slow or as fast as you need. And go ahead and switch the direction of your circle if you haven't yet done so. And bring the torso back to neutral. Go ahead and engage your core. Squeeze your belly button up towards the ceiling. Core is nice and strong. Take a breath in. Reach your right toes towards the back of the room. Point your toes and straighten off through the knee. Keep the core engaged. Reach the left arm towards the front of the room. Spinal balance. Take a breath in. Breath out. Elbow to knee. Arch through your back. Push through the right palm. Inhale. Reach and kick. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach and kick. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, all fours pose. Take it to the left side. Begin by extending the left leg towards the back of your room, right hand towards the front as you're ready. And remember to keep the core engaged. Take a breath in, reach and kick in each direction. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Last time, exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, all fours pose. Go ahead and tuck all 10 toes underneath. Hips move up to the sky, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Savasana. So this is the first down dog of your practice. Go ahead and take some time pedaling out through the heels. Noticing if any areas of the body here are feeling sticky, if they're feeling tight. Spend a little extra time, give a little extra love to those areas. As you bring the feet to stillness, just let the energy of the hips move up and back. Let the energy in the heels root down. The heels don't have to touch the mat. It's just about sending energy. Just throughout class, think about creating, think about lengthening, distributing energy to different areas. Remember, there's never a goal or a destination. Allow yourself to just be present and be proud through each pose. On your breath in, shift forward to a high plank. Bring the shoulders over the wrists. Engage the core. Let the center of your heart puff up to the ceiling. Core is engaged. Tailbone is tucked down. Breath in. Exhale back to downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, wave forward. High plank. Start to activate the muscles through the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Last one, inhale forward, high plank and hold. I want you to really find activation through the hands. Take one more breath in. Exhale, bend your elbows, squeeze them towards the sides of your body, lower down slowly to the belly. Once you get there, untuck the toes, let the tops of the feet kiss the mat. Hands are underneath the shoulders, elbows are lifting up towards the sky. Inhale, peel up the chest gently for Bhujangasana, Cobra Pose. Push the tops of the feet into the mat. Activate through the glutes. Exhale, forehead to mat. Inhale once again. Little to no weight in the hands. Just find that strength through your upper back. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift back up. And exhale, down. Keep the palms underneath the shoulders. Bring the forehead to the mat. Curl underneath the toes. I want you to pull the kneecaps towards your hips so that you flex through the quads. Pull your belly button towards your spine. Shift the tailbone down to engage in the core. Stay here as you use that Uddiyana Bandha to pull the belly button up and in. Keep that same core strength. Push up into a high plank if you need the knees. Set the knees down. Come to modified. Then high plank. Either way, inhale once there. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, let the eyes look forward. Shift forward to a high plank. Bring the shoulders over the wrists. Exhale, bend the elbows. Squeeze them to your ribs or all the way down to the belly. Cobra pose, Bhujangasana. Untuck the toes. Inhale, peel up gently. Exhale, the forehead come back to the mat. Inhale, lift up again. Little to no weight in the hands. Just focus on the strength in the upper back. Exhale, melt. Inhale, lift up one last time. And exhale, back to the mat. Go underneath the toes, push weight into the hands. We're gonna make your way back to a high plank. If you need to use the knees, take a bend in the knees, take modified plank first, and then high plank. Either way, meet me back in downward facing dog as you are ready. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Breath in, lift the heels super high, gaze looks up to the hands, slowly tiptoe little baby steps up to Uttanasana, forward fold. Once you get there, let the head hang heavy, shake the head yes and no, being careful and gentle to the cervical spine. Then bring the head to stillness, slowly rise up to Tadasana, mountain pose, one vertebra at a time, head reaches up less. Palms at the sides of the body, breath in. Breath out, sweep the arms in front, Urdhva Hastasana, tall mountain pose, breath in. Exhale, hands come through heart center, hinge at the hips, fold right back down, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, step the left foot behind you, a low lunge, set the left kneecap down on the mat, sink the hips forward and down as much as you can. Keep the left palm on the mat, reach the right arm up towards the sky, low lunge twist. Think about reaching your right side of your heart up towards the sky. Take one more breath in. On your breath out, I want you to gaze down at the left hand and put a little bit more weight into that left hand and through your left knee. I want you to gently begin to peel the right foot off of the mat. Do you then send it to the back of your mat for half circle pose. The right foot lands behind you. Right arm then reaches up over the head, full extension through the right side body. Take a breath in. On your breath out, glance down at the left hand again. We're gonna make this right foot come back to the top of the mat. So first go ahead and lift the right leg up. Get your balance, engage your core. Go ahead and bend the right knee, pull it into your chest. Shift the torso forward and thread the right foot in between the hands Landing in half splits pose. Adjust your stance as needed. The hip should be right above the left knee. Right leg is straight and out in front of you. Right toes are flexed. Pull the toes towards your face. Take a breath in. Find length in your torso, almost like a halfway lift. On your exhale, allow yourself to bow towards this right leg. One more like that. Inhale, create a little bit of lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, bend into this right knee, walk the hands forward, come back to a low lunge. Curl the left toes underneath, lift your left kneecap. Right leg lifts up and back, three-legged downward facing dog. Go ahead and flex the right toes and square your hips. So if you feel this right hip kind of opening up towards the right side wall, see if you can drop it down so the right hip and the left hip are the same height. Take a breath in. Exhale, sunbird pose. Come onto the ball of the left foot. Bend the right knee. Draw in towards the torso. Eyes look towards the right kneecap. Inhale, lift up and back. Three-legged downward facing dog. Two more like that. Exhale, sunbird. Inhale, lift up and back. And exhale, sunbird. Hold for three, two, one. One, right foot comes back in between the hands, low lunge. Left foot takes a big step to the top of the mat, forward fold, exhale, bow deep. <sighs> Inhale, right leg steps back, taking that same sequence on the other side. Once the right foot is landed, set the right kneecap down on the ground, right palm stays on the mat, left arm lifts up towards the sky, low lunge twist. This time thinking about the left side of the heart, left armpit reaching up towards the sky. One more breath in. Breath out. 
Glance down at the right palm below you. I want you to push more weight into that right hand so you can gently peel up the left foot as gracefully as you can. Send it to the back of your mat for half circle pose. Left arm reaches up and over the head. Full expression, full stretch to the left side. On your next inhale, lift the left leg up so it floats off the mat. Glance down back at the right hand. I want you to bend your left knee, start to pull it in towards the chest. With control, let the heart look down at the mat so you start to square off the body. Thread the left foot in between the hands. Left hand sets down, half splits. Adjust your stance as needed. Once again, hips should be right over the lower knee. Once you've landed, first create space. Think about lengthening through the torso. Then exhale as you fold. Keep a strong, flexed foot on that left side. One more round of breath like that. Inhale, find length. Exhale, find depth. Inhale, take a bend into this left knee. Walk the hands forward to frame the left foot. Lift your right kneecap up off the mat. Big breath in as you send the left leg up and back. Three-legged downward facing dog. Remember, check in with your hips. If you're opening way up, go ahead and square the hips so they're the same height. Flex through the left toes. Take an inhale. Exhale, sunbird. Bend the left knee. Drop as close to the face as you can. Shoulders come over the wrists. Inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, sunbird. Inhale, three-legged dog. Last time, exhale, sunbird. Hold it, you got it, for three, two, one. Left foot in between the hands, low lunge. Right foot takes a big hop to the top of your mat, forward fold. And exhale, ragdoll pose, opposite hands, grabs opposite elbow. Take as generous of a bend as you need in the knees to really feel the stretch through the low half of the back. Perhaps sway a little side to side. And put the hands back in front of the feet, forward fold. Inhale, one vertebra at a time, nice and slow, up to Tadasana, mountain pose, hands at the side. Inhale, pull the shoulders up close to the ears. Exhale, let the shoulders go down the back. Let's do one more like that. Inhale, breathe in all your air. Pull the shoulders up as close to the ears as you can. Exhale, let the shoulder blades kiss and rotate down the back. <sighs> Inhale, sweep the arms up. Urdhva Hastasana, tall mountain pose. Exhale, hands come to heart. Tuck the chin to the chest gently. Close the eyes. Samasthiti he standing in tension. This is perhaps one of the most beautiful parts of the practice because it's personal. Whatever your intention is for this practice, I want you to invite that intention with love and graciousness. As you flow through each posture with love and gratitude for yourself, remembering it's just a yoga practice. We're just here to practice together. Inhale, blink open the eyes, starting Surya Namaskara A. Sweep up the arms, Urdhva Hastasana, tall mountain pose. And exhale, fold down, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen up halfway, bring the hands to the shins, long flat back. Think about the crown of the head reaching forward. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, step the legs back, high plank. Take a breath in. Breath out, chaturanga, your half push-up. Squeeze your elbows to the ribs. Inhale, come to the tops of the feet. Straighten the arms. Urdhva mukha, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll over the toes. Hips go high. Adho mukha, downward facing dog. Inhale, heels lift. Gaze looks to hands. Slowly make your way back up to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway when you're there. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Urdhva Hasasana, tall mountain pose. Let's do that two more times. Exhale, right back down. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, step or hop the legs back. High plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. As you start to connect breath to movement, inhale, lift the heels high. Step or hop. 
forward fold, top of the mat, exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, bow. <sighs> Inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, tall mountain pose. Last time, exhale, make your way down. <sighs> Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, make your way back through your high plank into your chaturanga, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale, take a leg lift on the right side. And this time I want you to open up in the hips. So let the right side of your hip look towards the right wall. Kick the toes as high as you can. Really start to engage in the muscles through the groin and the hamstrings. Take a breath in. Breath out, bend in your right knee. Let the right toes look over to the left side of the room. Begin to create a circular shape here with the leg. Really starting to invite some awareness into the right hip. Go ahead and change directions if you haven't done so. Bring the circular motion to stillness, but keep the open hip. Gently peel off the left hand off the mat and flip your dog into wild thing. Let the right foot come behind you on the left side of the mat. Arch the back, sit up nice and tall. Breath in. On your breath out, keep the legs exactly where they are, but I want you to sit the hips down. Hips are going to come somewhat close to the left hand on the mat. As you end up in this seated posture, a little bit off the center of your mat. Left leg is straight, right knee is bent. Let's take a breath in, reach both arms up overhead, sit up super tall. Exhale, twist over to the right. Bring your right hand behind you. Bring the left tricep to the outer right thigh. You can bend in the left elbow. Take a breath in, sit up even taller. Take a breath out, twist a little deeper. Inhale, come back to center. Reach the arms up over the head. Left hand is gonna come back to the mat, fairly close to the left hip. Right hand is gonna stay lifted. I want you to push into this left hand and lift yourself up into a left side plank. If you need a little help today, you can drop the left kneecap down on the ground. If you're looking to advance your side plank, you can lift the right leg up, perhaps let it hover. Either way, take one breath in, one breath out. Your next breath in, let the right hand come to the top of the mat. Square off in the torso, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, leg lift, left side, open up in the hip so your left hip shines towards the left side of the room. And go ahead and bend the knee. Begin to take those circular shapes here. Notice how this hip is feeling in comparison to the other. See if you can make the same motion or maybe a little different. And go ahead and bring the circular shapes to stillness. Keep the open hip. Find more strength through your right hand. Gently lift up the left hand and rotate over to the right side of the room for a wild thing. Breath in, breath out. Keep the legs as they are. Sit the hips down to be a little off the center of your mat. It's okay. Right leg is straight, left leg is bent. Take a breath in, sit up nice and tall. Breath out, twist over towards that left leg. Left hand comes behind you. Right tricep comes to the outer left thigh. Take one more breath in, see if you can sit up any taller in your seat. And exhale, release. Arms sweep up over the head. Go ahead and bring the right hand back to the mat. Push into that right hand, push into the right heel. Sweep the left arm up, high plank. Whatever variation you would like here on this side. One breath in. On your breath out, both hands, both feet. Come to the mat. Exhale, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adho Mukha. Inhale, heels rise high, gaze looks to hands, hop or walk. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, tall mountain pose. Exhale, draw the hands to the heart, squeeze your tailbone down, engage your core. 
Breath in. Breath out, let the fingertips sweep the floor, bend the knees, Utkatasana, chair pose, palms shine towards each other. Find that same motion with the tailbone, so you're tucking it down, and in turn, the core tucks in. Back is nice and flat and long, core is strong and engaged. Inhale. Exhale, drinking bird. Bring the arms behind you, palms shine down, heart reaches forward, come on to the balls of the feet, lift the heels. Find your balance, gaze in front of you a couple feet. Inhale, exhale back to chair. Drop the heels, sweep the arms up. Inhale, exhale forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, lengthen up halfway. Exhale fold. <sighs> Inhale, step or hop, high plank. Take it through your vinyasa at your own pace. Remember you may always take away or add on through these vinyasas as you need. Make it your own practice. Inhale, leg lift, right side. Exhale, right foot in between the hands, low lunge. I want you to keep the left palm on the ground and round, roll to the outside edges of both of your feet. In turn, sagging the left hip down, reaching the right arm back for grasshopper lunge. Big stretch here through the outer right hip. One more breath in. Breath out, come back to a neutral lunge, all 10 toes face forward. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, we're gonna take an airplane lunge, similar to drinking bird as you bow the torso forward, let the hands reach back, palms shine down. Inhale up, crescent lunge. Keep the upper body the same, but round the left heel down to the mat for warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Heart reaches forward, palms shine towards one another. Inhale. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Maybe even close the eyes. One more round of breath here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, draw hands to heart center. Skandasana to the back of the mat, so straighten your right leg. Lift the right toes, bend into your back left knee. Low side squat. Once you've landed here, bring the left tricep to the inner left thigh. Left hand goes down, right hand reaches up. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. In your next inhale, right hand is gonna come to the back of the mat. Spin both of your feet towards the back of your mat. You're now on a low lunge. Left foot is in between the hands, right foot is back. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, I want you to push off of your back right leg and lift up into one-legged mountain pose. Right leg is about at 90 degrees. Go ahead and bring interlaced hands to your right kneecap. Sit up tall. Think about pulling the heart through the arms. One more breath in. Breath out, keep the leg exactly as it is. Reach the arms back up. Exhale as you send the right foot to the mat. Let the right foot plant, both legs are straight. Hands come to the hips. Take a breath in, stand up super tall. Take a breath out, bow forward for pyramid pose, Parjwa Konasana. Hands can stay at the hips, or if you'd like a deeper variation, hands can come to frame the left foot. So you tuck the chin to your chest, bow the face towards the left shin. Inhale, exhale. In your inhale, we're gonna roll over to the right side. So walk the hands over to the right side of the mat and pivot the feet so all 10 toes face the right side of your mat for wide-legged forward fold. Once you've landed in your fold, let's walk the hands over to the left leg and wherever your hands can grab onto that left leg, I want you to pull yourself close. Give yourself a nice hug towards this left side. Hips are both reaching up, inner thighs are spiraling back. And then walk the hands through center and over to the right. Walk the hands back through heart center. Keep the torso where it is. I want you to lift the hands up behind you. Interlace the hands, shine the palms towards the sky for chest expansion. 
Keep your chest expansion. I want you to reach your right toes towards the front of the room. Rebend into the right knee. Humble warrior pose. Torso is super low. Right knee is bent and strong. One more breath in. On your exhale, release interlaced hands from humble warrior. Hands frame the right foot. Back left heel lifts up. Right foot to the back of the mat. Take it through your vinyasa. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, leg lift, left side. Exhale, bring the foot in between the hands. Low lunge. This time, right hand stays planted on the ground. I want you to roll to the outside edges of both of your feet. Sag the right hip down. Reach the left arm towards the back of the room. Big stretch here through the outer left hip this time. Inhale. Exhale, come back to a low lunge. Both feet face forward. Inhale as you push into the ball of the back left foot. Rise the arms up. Crescent lunge. Get your balance. If you're a little wobbly at first, it's okay. Take a breath in. When your breath out, we're going to create that drinking bird type airplane shape. When your breath out, bow the torso forward. Reach the arms back. Palms shine down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise up back to crescent. Keep the upper body just as it is. Round your left heel down to the mat. Warrior one, Virabhadrasana one. Heart reaches forward, arms reach up. Take a breath in. Exhale, Virabhadrasana two. Arms reach out to a T. Gaze is over the front left fingertips. Remember your breath. Remember your intention. As you meet that intention with love. Draw hands to heart center, skandhasana to the back of your mat, straighten the left leg, bend the back right knee, sink low. Once you've landed, bring the right tricep to the inside of the right thigh, right hand goes down, left arm reaches up. Inhale. Exhale, left fingertips come to the back of the mat. Go ahead and square the torso towards the back of your mat. Both feet pivot. Low lunge. Inhale. Exhale, crescent lunge, rise up. Push off of the back left foot, rise up into your one-legged mountain pose on this side. Core is engaged. Let's bring interlaced hands to the left knee. We rise up a little taller and push the chest forward. Draw the shoulders down and back away from the ears. Keep the legs where they are, reach the arms back up over the head. Send your left foot back to the ground, preparing for pyramid pose. Both legs are straight, draw hands to the hips. Take a breath in, sit up super tall. On your exhale, bow forward. Hands at the hips or any other variations here, welcome. This pose is all about the strength and the stretch through the back right hamstrings. Breathe into that area. And keep the torso low. Go ahead and walk over to the left side of the room. Preparing for wide-legged forward fold on the other side. This time let's take a twist. Take your right hand and face your right fingertips to point towards the left side of the room. Then with your left hand, reach it up towards the sky. Stay here. If you'd like to take a bind, you can shine your left palm towards the back of the room. Bend in your left elbow and bring the forearm into the small of your back. Either way, think about lifting up over that left shoulder. Whatever variation you are in, let's slowly come out. Once the left hand is landed, go ahead and take a quarter turn with the left palm. So left fingertips reach towards the right foot. Then with your right hand, reach up towards the sky. If you'd like to take the bind here, shine the palm towards the other side. Bend in the elbow. Bring the right forearm to the small of the back. Maybe one day the right hand crawls towards the left hip crease. Think about the left shoulder lifting up. One more breath in. Exhale, unwind. Keep the torso bowing deep. Reach the hands up and behind you. Interlace the hands, chest expansion. 
Keep the hands interlaced. Begin to walk your left foot to the top of the mat. Rebend into the left knee. Humble warrior pose. Torso is bowing deep. Left knee has a strong bend. One more breath in. Breath out. Release your humble warrior. Bring the hands to the mat. Lift your back right heel up. Left foot steps back. High plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale as much air as you can through your nose. Exhale, let it all go out of the mouth with the ha sound. Inhale like that. Exhale, cleanse everything unnecessary out of the body. One more, inhale through the nose. Exhale, get it out. Settle back into your practice. I'm gonna take that same flow, one breath per movement, adding on a couple new poses. So some will be familiar, some will be new. Once again, meet yourself with love and gratitude. Let's begin, lift the heels high, gaze looks through the hands, hop or walk, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, drinking bird, reach the torso forward, lift the heels. And exhale, heels drop, arms reach up. New addition, crow pose, bring the hands to the ground. Bend the knees generously, bend the arms. I want you to nestle the knees up as close to the armpits as you can. Stay here, if you're comfortable here, start to shift the weight forward so you feel a little bit more weight into your fingertips. Perhaps lift one foot off the mat. If you feel balanced there with time, maybe both will lift. Keep breathing, find your balance. One more breath in. Breath out, feet plant on the ground, knees come together, arms sweep up, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, hop or walk. Take it back through your vinyasa. Exhale, it's a downward facing dog. Inhale, leg lift, right side. Exhale, right foot in between the hands, low lunge. Grasshopper lunge, roll to the outside edges of both of the feet. Left hip reaches towards the mat. Right arm reaches back, inhale. Exhale back to low lunge. Inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, take that airplane shape, bow the torso forward, reach the arms back. Here's a new addition, push off the back left leg. Come into airplane or warrior three. Body is one straight, long line of alignment. Breathe your belly button towards your spine, engage the core. One more breath in. Breath out, standing splits, bring the hands to the ground, kick the left leg as high up as you can. Two rounds of breath here on your inhale, I want you to kick as high as you can. On your exhale, I want you to bow the forehead towards the knee. One more like that, inhale, kick a little higher. Exhale, bow a little deeper. Inhale, bend your standing right leg. Left foot comes to the back of the mat. Reach the arms up. We meet back in crescent lunge. Torso stays the same. Heel rounds down. Warrior one. One breath in. One breath out. Warrior two. One breath in. Breath out. Skandasana to the back of your mat. Once you've landed, take that open twist. Left hand to the ground. Right arm reaches high. Inhale. Exhale, low lunge to the back of the mat. Pivot both feet to face the back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise up, crescent. Push off with the back right leg, rise up. One-legged mountain pose. Got to scoot back a little bit here. My wall is a little too close. <laughs> Wherever you are in this one-legged mountain pose, we're going to add on. You may stay where we did last time. The interlaced hands along the right kneecap. If you want to practice standing head to knee pose, bring interlaced hands to the base of the right foot. Once your balance is there, maybe slowly start to kick the right foot towards the wall in front of you. 
Wherever you are, keep breathing. Stay strong, one more breath in. Breath out, pyramid pose. Adjust your stance as needed. Hands come to the hips. Breath in, stand up tall. Breath out, bow deep. The hands are on the hips. Release them from the hips at this time. Walk over to the right side of the room. Feet face the right. Wide-legged forward fold. Just keep the hands in the center. Breath in. Breath out. Chest expansion. Reach the arms up behind you. Interlace the hands. Palms shine up towards the sky. One breath in. On your breath out, keep the torso low. Wiggle your right toes to face towards the mat. Humble warrior. Torso is still low. Arms are still reaching high. Breath in. Exhale, release, interlaced hands. Hands come down to the mat. Right leg lifts up and back. Three-legged downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, right knee to left tricep, under and across. Inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, right knee, left tricep. Inhale, up and back. Last time, right knee, left tricep, hold. Pause. Back left foot. Kick the right leg over to the left. Reach your left arm up. Fall in triangle pose. Inhale. Exhale. Push strong and through the right palm. One more inhale. Exhale. Let the left hand come down to the ground. Right foot steps back to a high plank. Vinyasa. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, heels rise high, gaze looks to hands, hop or walk, forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms up, Utkatasana, chair pose. Exhale, drinking bird. Inhale. Exhale, back to chair. Inhale, set the palms down, second attempt at crow if you would like. If you'd rather just take this as a forward fold, go ahead, girlfriend, do your thing. If you're interested in playing with the arm balance, here's your time to play. Your gaze is so important. Keep staring at the spot beneath you. Take one more breath in. Breath out, feet come to the mat, inner thighs touch, arms sweep up, chair pose, breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen halfway. Exhale, step or hop through your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's take it to the left side. Remember, some things are familiar, some things are new. Those that are familiar will only be there for one breath. You can do anything for one breath. Those poses that are new, spend a little bit more time in. Give yourself a little extra time to practice. When you're ready, left leg lifts up. Exhale, low lunge, left foot to the top of the mat. Grasshopper lunge, roll to the outside edges of both the feet, right hip sags down, left arm reaches back. Inhale, exhale, back to low lunge. Inhale, rise up, crescent, get your balance. Exhale, airplane lunge, torso bows down, arms reach back, one breath in. Breath out, push off your back right leg, straighten your standing left knee. Airplane or warrior three. Body is one straight long line of alignment. Keep the engagement in the core. One more inhale. Exhale, standing splits. Hands come to the top of the mat. Right leg lifts as high as you can. Remember two breaths here. Let's connect breath to movement. Inhale, kick a little higher. Exhale, bow the forehead deeper. Inhale, kick higher. Exhale, bow deeper. Inhale, re-bend into your standing left leg, return back, low lunge. Inhale, rise up, crescent. Exhale, warrior one, round to the right heel, down to the ground, torso faces forward. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, one breath here, and warrior two. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your mat, take that open twist, right hand to the ground, left arm reaches up, one breath in. One breath out, rotate the body to a low lunge at the back of your mat. Inhale, exhale, rise up, crescent. 
Inhale, push off the back left leg. One-legged mountain pose here on this side. Gotta scoop back once again. Maybe you stay here or take full standing head to knee. Remember, it's a practice. Practice what makes you feel good. One more breath in. Exhale, release the foot or the knee. Meet me in pyramid pose. Hands at the hips. Breath in. Exhale, bow. Inhale, come into your wide-legged fold, facing the side of the mat. Bring the hands beneath the head just for a breath. When your new breath comes, bring the hands to the ceiling, interlace them. And start to shift the weight back to the front of the mat. Humble warrior, torso is low, arms reach up high. Inhale. Exhale, bring the hands to the ground. Lift your right heel. Left leg lifts up and back. Three-legged downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, left knee, right tricep, under and across. Inhale, lift up and back. Exhale, under and across. Inhale, up and back. Last one, exhale, under and across. Hold, I want you to round your back, right heel down to the mat. Extend your bottom left leg out to the right. Right arm lifts up, fall in triangle pose. Keep pushing through the left palm, find strength. Breath in. Breath out, right hand comes back to the mat. Shift to the ball of your back right foot. Take your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. So we start to wind down our practice poses. Be in them for a little longer. They'll be a little slower. I want your breath to mimic that. So still be in control of that ujjayi rhythm, but just see if you can slow it down anymore. Inhale, lift the right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bend the right knee, right foot in between the hands, low lunge. Go ahead and set your left kneecap down behind you and wiggle your right foot to the top right corner of your mat. So both the hands are on the inside edge of the foot. I want you to sink your hips forward and down as much as you can to get into this lizard lunge. Now for this pose, it takes a lot on the outer right hip. I want you to push your right knee over towards the right side of the room. Stay here. If you're craving more, you can drop the left elbow down to the mat. Bring the left hand to the right foot. If you're here and you need more, you can reach the right hand to the back of the room, inviting a little bit of a twist. Very similar to that lizard lunge we took earlier. Last option, if you're still craving more, bend your back left knee. If the foot isn't in reach, you can still actively reach for the foot. Or if the hand and the foot are able to be friends here, allow your right hand to grab onto the left foot. Whatever variation of this pose that you are in, keep trying your best to sink the hips forward and down. Very nice. Those that grabbed onto the left back foot, go ahead and release it. Let's come back onto the hands Shine the torso forward and crawl the right foot back to the center of the mat. Hands frame the foot. Taking half splits, walk the hands to about the center of your mat. Hips stack over the knee, just as we did in our warm up. This time it's going to get us closer to full splits if that's something you are craving today. Let's first stay in half splits. Take a breath in. Exhale, bow, just as we did earlier. One more like that. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bow. <sighs> Inhale, rebend into the right knee. Walk the hands forward. Option one is to stay here in this runner's lunge. Still does wonders for the groin and the muscles through the hips. If you're even just a little curious about full splits, all you need to start to do is create this little inchworm dance to the top of your mat. If you keep crawling the foot forward, you know where your stopping point is. As you, if you get somewhere, and you feel like you're not going to be able to come back, don't go any further. Just do what feels good for your body. But if you're here, you feel like you can do more, you can slide the heel on the mat. It makes quite some fun sounds. You can get into your variation of the splits. Hands are either side of the body to help you rotate to the center and to help give you a little boost if you're not quite at the full bottom. 
Remember, meet yourself with love in that intention of yours. Those in full splits, go ahead and push into the hands so you can bring the right leg back on the mat. Bring the hands to the top of the mat, lift the left kneecap up, low lunge. And then right leg goes to the back of your mat, downward facing dog. Let's take it to the left side, left leg lifts. Exhale, low lunge. Right knee drops down to the mat. Once the right knee is dropped, crawl your left foot to the top of the left side of the mat. Hands are on the inside edge of the foot. Sink the hips forward and down as much as you can. If you're here and you're craving more, drop down to the right forearm. Maybe the right forearm grabs onto the left foot. This is an awesome place to be. If you're here and you feel good, next option, reach the left arm towards the back of the room. Stay here, or perhaps you bend the back knee, draw the heel in towards the glutes. Maybe it's an active pull, or perhaps the hand and foot come together. Either way, think about the left side of the heart reaching up towards the sky and the hips moving forward and down. One more breath in. Exhale, release whatever beautiful variation you're in. Come back to your hands. Crawl the left foot back to the center of the mat. Half splits pose, send the hips over the knee. Take a breath in, find length. Take a breath out, find your depth. One more like that, inhale, length. Exhale, depth. Inhale, opportunity for full splits on this side. Walk the hands forward, come back into just a runner's lunge. If splits are not your thing, stay right here. Still a wonderful stretch. If you'd like to try, begin to inch the left foot forward to the top of the mat. Stop where you feel comfortable. If you want to keep going, slide the heel forward. Come into your variation of splits here on this side. Remember, the hands are a great tool to kind of help you rock side to side. Feel all the muscles here in the groin and in the hips. Great work. Those that came into half splits, push the hands into the ground. Pull the left knee and the mat back onto the ground. Once you're here, let's curl under the back right toes, lift the knee, and make your way back to downward facing dog. Once in down dog, set the forearms down to the ground for dolphin pose, just like down dog, but on the forearms. Try your best to keep lifting the hips high, even if that means the heels are gonna dramatically lift off the mat. Push into the palms, lift the elbows, back to downward facing dog. Inhale, leg lift, last side, last leg lift on the side. I want you to kick it as high as you can, almost like a standing splits. Then go ahead and bend the knee, pull it into your chest, come into pigeon pose. Outer right calf comes to the mat, back left heel rounds down. Whenever I first land in pigeon, I find it nice to give myself a little rocking side to side. Couple options here to play in pigeon. You may stay right here up tall. You may walk the hands forward. Or you could take my personal bind here, pigeon pose, starting by taking the left hand and threading it over to the right side of the room, trying to get your left shoulder blade on the mat. Then with your right hand, reach it up towards the sky. Sign your right palm towards the left side of the room. Bend your left elbow, just as we did in our bind earlier. And maybe one day these right fingertips can crawl and reach towards the right foot. Just an option. You, your own, or your best teacher. Listen to your body and what you need. There are so many beautiful variations of pigeon. Whatever variation you are in, go ahead and slowly start to come out. Bring the hands back up to the mat and sit back up tall if you're not there already. I want you to place a little bit more weight into your outer right hip. We're going to swing the left leg around. Hands are always here to help swing the leg around as needed. Left leg is going to be off the center of the mat a little bit and that's okay. Right foot comes into the center of the left thigh. Go ahead and flex your left foot. So pull the toes towards your face. 
Pull the kneecap towards the hips to engage in the quads. Take a breath in, sit up as tall as you can and pause. I want you to notice how much length you have from your hips all the way up to your fingertips. Use that length. Take another breath in, reach higher. Exhale, hinge at the hips, bow forward. Grab onto any area of the leg that is in reach for you here. Those that have a little bit deeper of a range of motion here, you can try to bring your elbows to the ground. And keep bowing the forehead down towards the left leg. And your next inhale, sit up nice and tall, reach the arms up back over the head. Go ahead and bring your left hand to the right knee. So it's gonna go across the body. Then bring your right fingertips to the base of the head. I want you to sit up as tall as you can in your seat. Then on your exhale, start to shimmy this left shoulder towards the left knee. Maybe you stay here. If you're desiring more, you can bring the right hand away from the base of the head and reach towards the foot. The foot does not have to be in reach for this pose to work. Might look a little more something like this and that is perfectly okay. Either way, if you want to involve the left hand as well, you can take it off of the right knee and reach it towards the left leg as well. Wherever your hands end up in this pose, I want you to remember to keep lifting the right side of the heart up towards the sky. The right side of the body is gonna have a tendency to kind of sag. If that's happening, think about reaching your right armpit up towards the ceiling. And wherever you are, let's inhale, sit back up. Bring the hands in front of your right shin. We're going to swing the left leg to the back of the mat, back to pigeon pose. Go ahead and curl under the left toes, push into the palms, lift the right leg up, and then back, downward facing dog. Let's take it to the left side, leg lift. Last one, kind of take this more as a standing split. Let's kick it as high as you can, really opening up in the hip. And then as you're ready, pigeon pose here on this left side, outer left calf to the top of the mat. Untuck the right toes. If it feels good on your body, sway a little side to side, really get into the hips. And take the variation that you choose on this side to get into that bind here. First take your right hand and thread it over to the left side of the room, similar to thread the needle, palms shine up. Reach your left arm up towards the sky. Bend in your left elbow, bring the forearm to the small of the back. Maybe one day the left hand reaches on towards the foot. As I mentioned before, just really start to slow down your breath. Remind your body that you are in control. On your next inhale, start to unwind from whatever variation you took. Come back up to the hands. I want you to push a little bit more weight into your outer left hip so you can swing the right leg around in front of you. Right leg is straight, left knee is bent. Flex your right toes, pull your right kneecap towards the hips. Take a breath in, sit up nice and tall. Breath out, hinge forward. And poses of deep flexibility like this one could be easy to get tied up in what the pose looks like. Instead, I want you to worry about what the pose feels like. Your next breath in, reach the arms up over the head, sit back up nice and tall. Right hand comes to the left kneecap, so across the body, left hand comes to the base of the head. Take a breath in, sit up super tall. Breath out, shimmy the right shoulder towards the right knee. Think about lifting the left side of the heart up towards the sky. Stay here, or perhaps reach one, or maybe both hands towards the right foot. Remember, right foot does not have to be in reach for this pose to feel good. Take it however you need to feel the best right here. And on your next breath in, slowly sit up. 
Bring the hands in front of the left shin. Reach the right leg to the back of the mat, back to pigeon pose. Curl under those right toes. Push into the palms, lift the left leg up, and then back, downward facing dog. Go ahead and set the knees down onto the ground. So we make our way to our hips. Sway the feet out to the side, plant the hips, and bring the feet out in front. Align yourself so you're about in the center of your mat. Bend the knees, feet are on the mat. And as you're ready, let's bring the hands up towards the sky. Lift up tall through the sternum. Take a breath in. And on your exhale, slowly melt down to your back. Once the torso has landed, go ahead and pull the knees into the chest for Alpanasana, knees to chest pose. Stay here, or if happy baby sounds better, you can bring the hands to the feet, shine the feet towards the sky. With either pose, it feels nice to invite a little rocking side to side to massage the muscles that surround your beautiful spine. Those in happy baby, let's come back to knees to chest. Bring the hands to the hamstrings, so the backs of the thighs. Flex the feet, shine the heels up towards the sky, legs up a wall pose. Big stretch through the hamstrings. Hands can stay on the backs of the legs, or if you'd like, they can come down to the mat. Keep the left leg reaching up towards the sky. Bend your right knee into your chest and hold onto it with both hands. Then like an arm on a clock, I want you to tick-tock this left leg down to the top of your mat with as much control as you can, engaging in those low abs. Once the left foot has landed, really pull the right knee in as close as you can to the torso. And take supine spinal twist. Right hand falls to the side of the body. Left hand guides the right leg over to the left side of the room. To further the stretch, you can allow the head to look over to the right. Nice addition onto this pose. You can bend your straightened left leg and pull the left heel in towards the glutes. And maybe one day walk the right fingertips down and grab onto that left foot. Just an option. Be thankful for where you are. Be proud of your practice. You took the variation holding onto the bottom leg. Go ahead and let it go. On your exhale at the right hip, come back to the mat. Once both hips are on the mat, lift both legs back up. Legs up a wall pose. This time, bend just the left knee into the chest. Give it a hug with both hands. This time, your right leg is the arm on the clock. Slowly tick-tock down. Once the right foot has landed, release the left hand from the knee. Use the right hand to guide the left knee over to the side for supine spinal twist. Head can look over to the left side of the room. You want to take the variation here, go ahead and bend your right knee, pull the heel in towards the glutes. Maybe the left hand locks down and grabs onto the right foot. Either way, try your best to keep the shoulders both planted on the mat. If you took that additional variation, go ahead and let go of the right leg. Send the left hip to the ground. Slide both heels to the top of your mat. Feet a little bit wider than the hips. Hands at the sides of the body. Once you get into your corpse pose, into Shavasana, 
go through a little body scan to give yourself one last opportunity to let go. Start down at the heels. As you find them falling heavy into the mat, any tension that might live through the feet, through the arches, through the ankles. Let any of that pain dissolve into the mat. Work your way up through the calves and the backs of the knees. Let them get heavy. Traveling up through the hamstrings and into the hips. Did a lot of work in the hips today. Use this time to let any tension, anything unnecessary to go. Working your way up your beautiful spine. Each single bone, each single muscle relaxes and melts into the mat. Traveling away from the midline of the body, allow the backsides of the arms and the hands, the fingertips to get a little heavier. Making your way back to the center of the body. Any pain, any suffering that might be in the chest and your heart and your feelings. Use this time to surrender, to let go. And lastly, move your way into the head. If there's any facial muscles that are tense, relax the jaw, relax the cheeks. Let the eyelids and the eyebrows fall heavy. Allow the mind to be still. Allow your next breath to be a little bit deeper. As you start to find some gentle movement in the fingers and in the toes. Gently bend the knees. Keeping the eyes closed, allow yourself to fall to your favorite side. She rests in a supported fetal position. So I like to use this final pose in my practice to reflect. So you can take this time to come back to your intention. Or perhaps just use this time to be filled with gratitude. To be proud of yourself for committing a full hour to self care a full hour to bettering mind, body, and spirit. Be proud of where you are. When you feel it's time, you can gently push into a seat. Once you've come into a seat, go ahead and bring hands to heart center. Gently blink open the eyes. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video today. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below. I always love to hear feedback. I hope to see you here next time. Namaste.